The Flying Leatherneck Foundation is proud to present Memorable Moments in Marine Aviation by Colonel Ken Tolleson, United States Air Force, retired. Well, Patrick, when the Marines invaded Guadalcanal on August 7, 1942, they quickly validated the tactics and techniques they had developed in the 1930 era dealing with the challenges of amphibious assault and providing close air support. Guadalcanal then became the defining point for the quintessential global integrated air ground team that now defines the Corps. The Marines knew they were outnumbered and they faced the, fam they faced the famous Japanese Zero fighter that was superior in performance to the only U.S. Navy fighter available, the F-4F Wildcat. Nevertheless, the Marines were able to wrestle control of the air from the Japanese. In so doing, eight Guadalcanal-based Marine Corps aces received the Medal of Honor to include Captain Joseph Joe Foss, the all-time leading ace of the Marine Corps. In only 109 days from his arrival on Guadalcanal with VMF-115 until his January 26, 1943 departure, he shot down 26 Japanese aircraft and was shot down once himself. The other seven aces were First Lieutenant Robert M. Hansen of VMF-215 with 25 victories. Next was uh, First Lieutenant Kenneth Walsh of VMF-124 with 21 victories. Next was Captain John Smith of VMF-223 with 19 victories. Then First Lieutenant James Sweat of VMF-221 with 16 and a half victories. And then Major Robert Gaylor of VMF-224 with 13 victories. Lieutenant Colonel Bauer of VMF-212 with 11 victories, who himself was killed in action on November 14, 1942. And finally, First Lieutenant DeBlanc of VMF-112 with 9 victories. However, the United States and his allies began their 1942 campaign to stop the Japanese from taking the Pacific Ocean. None of this was supposed to happen. Only 90 days before the Marines landed on Guadalcanal, the, that campaign was not the Navy's responsibility. It belonged to General Douglas MacArthur's army, headquartered at Brisbane, Australia. What happened? Prior to the United States' entry into World War II, in December 1942, there was an agreement between Great Britain and the United States that in the event of a two-ocean war, the European theater would be the first priority. In the spring of 1942, the two nations were committed to Operation Torch, the invasion of North Africa in November 1942. The Japanese activity in the Pacific Ocean by the spring of 1940 that included operations as far south as the Solomon Islands alarmed President Franklin D. Roosevelt and the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Ernest King. Completely losing the Southwest Pacific to the Japanese seemed likely. However, forces were insufficient to initiate any Solomon Island campaign, and Operation Torch precluded any reinforcements for General MacArthur's army. The Atlantic Allied commanders, President Franklin Roosevelt and England's Prime Minister Winston Churchill, then redrew the Pacific Ocean map, identifying areas of responsibility. By May 1942, Guadalcanal became the Navy's responsibility. That is what happened. Thanks a lot, Colonel. Thank you.